excited. We're here celebrating the Innovation Show, and we're pleased to be partnering with the Spokane Valley Chamber. We have a representative from Spokane Valley Chamber, Eldonna Shaw, is with us today. She's the president and CEO. We also have John uh, Grisco representing MDI Marketing. He's also, I think, on the board of the Spokane Valley Chamber. Is that right, John? Yeah, an incoming Great. chair. Well, we're excited to be here as uh, representing Launchpad as well. We're excited to be partnering with you. So thank you for inviting us to be a part of this. Oh, thanks well, for having us. exciting. And welcome to both of you. Tell us about your roles within the chamber and your role within the event, the Innovation Show. The Innovation Show started as the uh, Spokane Valley Business Fair and about, oh, I guess about 11 years ago. And so it's evolved. As everything does in business, you've got to be competitive, so innovation is a thread that runs throughout. And so we bring ourselves now today to the Innovation Show. And John, can you tell us a bit about your role? Joining up with the Valley Chamber was um, one of our first strategic networking initiatives. We, we tell a lot of people how to market their company, but we need to also market our company. And not only network, um, online but network offline and uh, such as Launchpad and the Valley Chamber doing um, a really good mix of both has helped our company uh, immensely. It, it is uh, probably 50% of our business comes straight, directly through networking either online or offline. Well and when I think of Valley Chamber I think of good old fashioned face to face networking That's and communication mm -hmm. but it's also coupling innovation, technology, it's the best of both worlds. Well I think people need that face time. We need to do things faster and better through technology, but we need the FaceTime, and people like to do business with people they know. Absolutely. Yeah, and we're, we're excited because we obviously love partnering, and you've been a wonderful partner. Can you talk a little bit about what folks can expect from the event today? Well, we have over 70 exhibitors, and we have a grand door prize, really exciting one, from the Coeur d'Alene Casino and Resort and Cir uh, Circling Raven Golf Course. It's a luxury weekend and golf. We love what you're doing. We're excited to be partnering with you. This is going to be a great event. The Spokane Valley Chamber has always represented uh, small business and really working with entrepreneurs through your mentoring program that you have yeah, for we have, entrepreneurs? We have, a, we have a small business development program that's really exciting. We do the next level entrepreneur training and we also do small business incubation. Well, let's get a, a round of applause to John and Eldon and the Spokane Valley Chamber. And thank you so much for being with us today. Our distinct pleasure to introduce Dave Koopman. He's the chief scientist with GoDaddy. Welcome to you and thank you for being here. Welcome to Spokane. Thank you. Tell us about your role with GoDaddy. All right. Um, well, as a chief scientist, I work in the office of the CTO. So the CTO is responsible for uh, all of the infrastructure, um, all the, the high level uh, architectural decisions. And uh, my role is to work closely with the enterprise architecture group as well as the, the performance engineering and our, and our service delivery groups that, that build and maintain our products and services, um, running experiments and the results of which help um, GoDaddy make good business decisions. So Dave, can you tell us a little bit about your background, maybe where you're from originally and how you ended up at GoDaddy? Sure. I uh, moved around a lot um, as a child, spent most of my childhood in, in Southern California, uh, Orange County, uh, graduated high school in St. Louis, attended college in Springfield, Missouri at Southwest Missouri State, studying computer science, moved to Arizona in 97, started a firm with my father called the webmark and um, it was a, a small startup very simple concept um, he would sell the websites I would build them did a lot of programming learned a lot about business um, did everything from uh, you know invoices and accounting to making the websites meeting with clients and really set me up well for uh, going to work um, at GoDaddy um, 2002 joined forces with uh, with GoDaddy at the time it was sm much smaller than it is now um, there was about a hundred employees when I started we now have over 15 million emails accounts and thousands of servers spread out across you know multiple data centers wow. is really growing up um, that's about the size of my inbox most days yeah about, about 50 million yeah <laughs> Gotta do something about that yeah. when I think of GoDaddy I think yeah. of Danica Patrick fast cars and domain name registration so what are some of the other services that GoDaddy provides for its customers sure well we have uh, a whole range of services that we provide and 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 all of which are angled at providing you know real, real value to the customer everything has to be valuable and and so the story goes you probably know about like the domain names we didn't originally want to do um, uh, domain names we wanted it to, to partner to sell domain names to be a hosting company but when we got turned down we decided to get into that and uh, became a domain name registrar and came in and said we're gonna sell them for you know um, 
uh, uh, a third of the price of everybody else. And the accountant said, you can't make money, you're going to go broke. But no, we need to provide a real good value to the, to the, to the, you know, to the customer. And uh, we'll make up for it in volume. And we did. And we repeated that story with SSL and hosting. We're number one in, in, in those areas um, you know, across, the, across the board. Um, but we try to be a one-stop shop for everything that um, a business needs to um, establish and evolve their, their online presence. So web hosting, uh, we have productivity suite uh, like email and calendar and fax through email. We have uh, website design um, um, uh, um, services where you can call and just explain what you want. And we call it the, the dream design team and they will make websites for you. Um, we also have in our hosting line, you know, the, the traditional shared hosting as well as um, uh, we have cloud servers now. We mm -hmm. called it virtual data center. We're renaming it this week to cloud servers because we discovered people don't know what a data center means necessarily. So we're going to change the name. And, and we also have domain aftermarket. So not only do we sell domain names, but there's also the aftermarket, which is auctions for domains. So you can buy a, name, mm -hmm. a domain name that you think might be valuable later and you can put it up for sale. Um, um, and we have uh, marketing applications like email marketing um, mm -hmm. and Right. I could go on, but yeah, it's okay. No, it, it's, it's <laughs> There's interesting. There's so many different services. There's a lot of services. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I'm I'm kind of interested in maybe any specific case studies that you might have where some of your other online tools were helpful for businesses that are looking to accelerate growth. Yeah, I mean, my favorite story is the. Um, is the Tara, Taryn uh, Hensley and her mom Jody in St. Louis, Missouri? Oh yeah, Taryn. No, yeah. yeah. Oh, you know her, right? Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh, they decided to get together and uh, and and they had they put a combination of technical skill with um, with the ability to make baked goods. Her mom uh, makes these amazing pretzels with chocolate combined sweet with uh, you know the sweet and the salty together mm -hmm. and makes these amazing pretzels that nobody else makes. She's got a, a, a wonderful recipe. Well, her daughter. Uh, had the ability to uh, get online, get a domain name, get a website, get the shopping cart. Uh, also had the the, the savvy to uh, be involved with social media, mm -hmm. and so she uses Twitter and Facebook a lot to connect with her customers. And they have a, a real thriving, uh, a real thriving business now. It's called Mom's Originals. Mom'sOriginals.com is a GoDaddy customer, a great success story, and um, a whole lot of fun to hear. Um, maybe an, another example is. Um, uh, the uh, San Francisco uh, Whale Company. Are you He's familiar with them too, Bill? No, I can't say. Joe, his name's uh, Joe Nazar is the name of the individual. In 2007, he started a a, a, um, a whale uh, a boating. Um, it's kind of like a, a, an exploration. You can come in and go on a boating trip with him. And started with one boat in 2007. Hmm. In 2008, he saw a GoDaddy Super Bowl commercial and decided to call and see if he could get online. He took he made uh, use of a really unique um, or a, a really good. Um, um, the thing where he registered a lot of domain names. He built up a domain name portfolio, spinning all around San Francisco and boating and whaling, and used a lot of different combinations. Mm -hmm. dot com, dot net, net, org, Moby, and and he ended up buying about 200 domain names and uh, um, pointing them all into his website. And his philosophy on that was, well, for the $11 a year that I pay for each one of those domains, every time somebody you know makes a typo on it and then lands on my site, he said each one is worth thousands a year to wow. me, and I'm. And I'm only paying eleven dollars each. We have to ask, what's the scoop? What are some new technologies, some new projects that GoDaddy is working on? The latest thing that we uh, have put out is that I mentioned just a moment ago the the cloud servers, uh -huh. and uh, so that is a um, um, an enabling the developer community to kind of build some unique applications. It's kind of a new theme that we're going to be going for. Um, you know, you had mentioned earlier that we're known for Danica Patrick and you know sexy commercials <laughs> and things like that, but what what we what we do. Uh, at work with the, the thousand people that are engineers and, and developers there is make you know groundbreaking new new uh, uh, we, we make progress on new products and services that that really enable uh, people to do things but we're going to put in a lot more focus this year on uh, the developer community making products mm -hmm. making APIs for our, our existing um, products and services so things that you didn't currently you know have an API for now you will and what that right. what an API is is a is a is an interface that allows Developers to write their own programs to make use of your your technology. Cloud compute is, um, I think, a really interesting. Um, 
component and is really mm -hmm. necessary because what that is is you know servers by the hour in a sense I can programmatically spin up a, a, a number of servers to either uh, fluctuate um, based on the demand that I have so let's say you, you have uh, more demand in the middle of the day or than you do um, or more demand during the, the the holiday season than you do the rest of the year you can automatically spin more machines up to handle the the load that you do and you only pay for what you use right mm -hmm. so let's talk about a little bit maybe a higher level view uh, let's talk about the internet for, for a couple of seconds I think a lot of people would like to maybe hear your thoughts on the internet in general obviously has evolved quite a bit at, at, at a fast pace and it's really tough to figure out what's going to be hot in the internet space maybe even in a month or two but what, what are some of your thoughts around maybe some disruptive technologies as you kind of think about being the chief scientist you probably get to think about that stuff a lot right so what, what are some of your thoughts around right. what, what we might see in the next year or so well I think um, well the, the, that's a loaded question I've got about three answers to right. that question but the first one that I think that I'm thinking of is uh, website acceleration um, is something that's going to be more and more important most people your website loads you know fairly fast for you if your servers are close to you you, you, you come in but what about those folks that have um, uh, are further away like are you trying to reach uh, a broader audience maybe an international audience and getting that the content of your website uh, closer to the the um, your visitors is is a critical component so there's going to be a lot of uh, kind of new technologies around this I mean it, it isn't brand new the concept of uh, content delivery network CDN traditional mm -hmm. CDN has been around for years but there's going to be a lot more a lot more in the um, in the area of accelerating websites another big one is mobile um, mm -hmm. mobile is booming um, I haven't looked at it closely in about a year, but a year ago when I was uh, uh, watching the, the, the reports of the mobile team, every week they said, record-breaking sales, record-breaking sales. Every week they celebrated record-breaking sales, and because right. it was on a very solid upward you know, trend, um, but it was approaching only 1% of our of our total sales you know, a, year, a year ago. Now it's, now it's, it's surpassed that. Um, so you don't want to go so extreme that you change your whole strategy around to go mobile first, everything mobile, and then you know barely a desktop presence. You certainly want, but you have to realize that more people are going to be coming online with their mobile phone, their mobile device, um, and and using that instead of the desktop. So right. you want to make sure that you address that um, that audience, or otherwise you're going to miss a, a, a big and growing um, a growing. And that forward segment. thinking, I would imagine, is part of what you get paid for. You get to think of the next thing. Yes. And uh, sort of be innovative in that sense. Right. You know, also as you try to, one of the, the ways that we be that we have to be innovative is in thinking about how we design our applications. So, mm -hmm. um, the traditional way is you have you know the, you build the website and then you have some database behind it and then an application server in between that helps facilitate the interactions between the two, and then you go, oh wait, we need to build a new interface for mobile. Oh, mm -hmm. what about that tablet and the iPad and the mm -hmm. you know all these other devices? I need to have interfaces for those as well. Right. Then open up, shoot ecosystem. If I can, if I instead of uh, you know, having all of that control initially built into my website. Instead, if you build the API first, mm -hmm. now um, not only can you build multiple uh, interfaces to your application, like on iPad, iPhone, uh, website, you can also open that API up to the ecosystem and allow, you know, create a whole ecosystem out of it where you allow other people to write code into your, and other people are creating apps mm -hmm. that run on top of your app. Right. And we become, you know, kind of a, a, a platform of enabling that. So I think that's... Setting the foundation, really. Yeah. Right? In layman's terms? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Yeah. So we're going to throw a new segment at you here. Okay. We're going to throw a couple of different phrases, subjects at you, and we want you to tell us immediately what <laughs> right. comes to your mind. Right. First, what is your response, quick response, when I say Google? Um, search giant. Ooh, that's Ooh. good. I like that. 80%. Yeah. They pay him to be a thinker, Bill. And what yeah, I mean I like by that. 80% is that 80% of your search traffic is coming from Google. Right. And about 8% yeah. from Bing. And then, uh, you know, everything else is the remainder. So yeah. mm -hmm. pay attention to Google first. That's right. For your search traffic. Especially with Google Plus, right? Some of the stuff they're doing around Google Plus. Yeah, I think Google Plus is really neat, too, because, yeah. you know, you put those, those plus one uh, things on your website, and when somebody plus ones you, Google remembers that. Now, if somebody else that is from 
friends or associated with that person is right. logged into Google and they search for something, maybe your page was going to show up on like page five or six of the results. Now it's going to be on page one. Yep. Why? Mm. Because your friend liked it, so they f they think it's more relevant to you. Yeah. So I think that's a, a that's powerful powerful yeah. thing that will be mm. emerging. And Google Plus is very new. Yeah. Um, you know, in term relatively. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be. How about bigger, uh, this little startup called Facebook? Facebook, I think, well, walled garden, I think, and, but uh, <laughs> at the same time, uh, very open source uh, friendly and mm -hmm. really like role models in the open source uh, right. community. So right. I have to ask you, I'm going to go off script, timeline, Facebook timeline, what do you, what's your thought on yeah. that? What's my f thought on the timeline? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I turned it on on mine, I kind of liked it. I thought it was neat. Uh -huh. I like it for businesses, um, you know, more from than I do for my own personal, but I mean, to be honest with you, I don't use Facebook that much. I'm more of a Twitter guy than a Facebook yeah. person, but I think it's okay. What do you think of timeline? I'm well, not sure. uh, I'm not, I'm not, not a chief a scientist, opinion. so I'm not sure my opinion <laughs> matters, but I, right. it's interesting. I've heard a lot of different perspectives. So, you know, what I've learned along the way, though, is that uh, even, even so, my opinion really, although interesting, um, doesn't actually matter. What really matters is what the customers <laughs> yeah, want. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But this so is true, we, but you are right. uh, a specialist in the area, yeah, so we yeah. should listen. So what do you think about uh, domain aftermarket? That whole area. Well, domain aftermarket, I yeah. think like GoDaddy ecosystem rules it right now. Yeah. And, and you may not be aware of this, but the, mm -hmm. the uh, uh, a lot, all of the other big um, auction domain auction players are all hooked up with GoDaddy, mm -hmm. and they they sell their um, their domains through GoDaddy. So when you search, and they all want to be because we're the the, the domain giant. So people not realizing that they wanted to buy a, a domain from from the aftermarket, they just wanted a domain, and they say, oh, it's not available. But it is for sale gotcha. from uh, a private party. So you get a piece of the action. We get a piece of that action, I too. I like it. Yeah, mm. it's good. What about online video? Online video. Yeah. What do I think? Yeah. What do you think just overall uh, in well, general? First thing that pops to my mind is H.264 encoded with, a, with an MP4 wrapper. A, so you go, me, I too. Know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Freaking cool. Um, but what I, <laughs> I think, uh, you know, HTML5 is an interesting topic that is uh, enabling um, video play in browser browsers without um, the use of Flash. And so you see this like the, with, uh, for example, um, uh, your your iOS devices, the iPhones, right. um, they don't support Flash, but they do support, um, you know, the HTML5 construct and will play um, online video. So it's becoming incredibly easy for um, any individual with a, just a handheld device to take, mm -hmm. you know, pretty decent quality video, post it, you know, on YouTube and, and other uh, online and other places and it's just it's becoming really easy for people to take advantage of it yeah and you can make a really big difference you know for yourself if you're a uh, say a brick and mortar store and you want to show off showcase some of your your product you can make a video and and um, really gain the trust of your visitors because right. they, they can see who you are and what you do and which is so true because I'm so done with HTML4 right. <laughs> it's just so over not even gonna address that <laughs> so what about social media you said you're a Twitter Twitter guy. Yeah. Uh, what's what's next in social media? What's the next big yeah. thing? Well, Google Plus, I think. I mean, I can't. I think Google Plus is going to. Um, one of the things that it does that that Facebook doesn't is it allows you to create circles, and you can say so you can keep your your purse, your close friends separate from your coworkers, which is the incredibly circle important. Circle of so, trust. Yes, right? that circle of trust. You you know you don't want the pictures from the party being shown in the You're workplace, right? right? So um, you yeah. can do that. Um, and but the other thing that I think is really big is that. Is that that um, the plus one thing on on a web page, and they're going to then adjust their search rankings? You know the the way the positioning that they make your search results come up based upon those plus ones, and I, don't know, I just think that that's really powerful. I think it's going to be uh, combined with the the whole Google platform. Yep, they they really thought it through. So in social, I think that that's fairly big, and it's also going to you know as soon as you get a little bit of a fracture in the right now Facebook dominated, um, but you know the number of people on Facebook is very high. 
as soon as it starts to split, if it gets closer to 50-50 between, mm -hmm. you know, either something new that we don't know about yet or Google mm -hmm. Plus and Facebook, um, then the importance of your website becomes a lot more, you know, important. You realize that in order to reach all of these people, I need to be on, goodness, Facebook right. and Google Plus, and I need to be on uh, Twitter, and, and I need to be on LinkedIn in order to communicate with all of my customers to reach all of them. Mm -hmm. And so if you can somehow use your your website and your domain, you want to establish your, your name on the, you know, on the internet. You don't want to be just facebook.com slash something. You want right. to be your name. It's so important to establish that brand because you take that with you everywhere. It'll be with you forever. Your Facebook, Facebook may fade out and something else may become popular right. and then you lose that. You need to establish that. It's like an idea that I have. What if you do, instead of, you see this all over the place, facebook.com slash, you know, your a name. Mm -hmm. Why don't you do your domain right. slash Facebook and right. advertise that instead. Get people to, in the habit of typing your domain name into the browser yeah. and if they want to go to your Facebook profile put slash Facebook Facebook and you can have that redirect into your Facebook. Yeah, I'm gonna. I have a, one other question here, but off script a little bit. I, we had uh, someone we recently hired, Dara Gora from from yes. GoDaddy. We were talking to some clients, and, and she asked them, "Why why don't you st start a domain with your name? Why don't you own that?" Yeah. Are, are you surprised how many people don't do that? I am very surprised. I mean, in fact, even today, 40 percent of businesses are still don't have a, a web presence. Hmm. And so there's going to be a, hmm. that's going to be fairly, I mean, big too. Is that all of the all businesses that are not yet online are gonna, going to be finally realizing that, wow, I need to get online in order to reach my the full potential of my customer base. Right. So there's going to be a lot of new people coming online. And having a good domain name that, that mixes, you know, if you're a local business, you want to make sure that you mix uh, a good keyword with, uh, uh, with the location that you're in. Mm -hmm. So, you know... Spokane dentist, for example, is a good is a good because you get that the name of what you do and the keyword. Having a keyword um, that people search for in mm -hmm. your domain name is really like attorney really or good too. something like that that tells people who you what you do. Exactly. Yeah. It, I, I, one more, sorry, one more follow up on that because this is really fascinating to me because um, I'm interested in going out and uh, buying domain names of famous people right before they really take <laughs> off and see if I can parlay that into yeah. a side business. Is that frowned upon? Is that I? I well, I, <laughs> do you I own your know. own domain name? I, I think uh, uh, as far oh yeah, I own my own domain. I also own my my children's names. You know, yeah. register. That's actually really popular. They call it baby names now. Sure. You can yeah. tell you what. Hey, I'm going to go buy BillKalivas.com. I mean, yeah. And see if I can get yeah. all the money out of that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'll be worth nothing. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. You could try that. But baby names are really popular though too. Really? Like I bought one for for my, my kids. I mean, rather than buying a baby mm -hmm. a, a little onesie or something that they'll wear for a month, you buy wow. them a domain name and they'll That's have it forever right? yeah. trend. when they grow up I hadn't and, thought about that yeah. so one quick question as a follow-up on that when people are buying domain names a lot of the dot-com names are taken I think if you do a search a lot of dot-coms are taken should people buy a dot net a dot co what is really kind of right. the next popular thing well, there's a lot of ways. If you search for a name, a lot of times it'll 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 give you spins. They'll say this name isn't available, but here right. are some alternatives, and then those, that'll sometimes maybe none of them are exactly you don't think no those aren't right, but maybe it gives you an idea. Another word pops in. You got to think of synonyms for the the word that you're mm -hmm. looking for. Um, I wouldn't really recommend taking a you know a dot net like oh coms taken but nets available because mm -hmm. what's going to happen is people are going to land on the dot com by right. accident. They're right, gonna, you know, right. so I would recommend. And then trying to just find some some way. You want to make sure that it's easy to spell. Right. You know, ambiguous spellings are, are the worst because you, you have to be able yeah. to say what it, what your domain is and and not not have people not understand. Can you spell that? Because I didn't quite catch that. Hmm. So easy to spell. Um, it's better if it's short. You know, like you know, GoDaddy is short, um, and that works well for us. But I wouldn't necessarily recommend going short over it being just like crystal clear. Mm -hmm. You know, like I was saying, mm -hmm. Spokane Dentist or something would be perfect. Somebody sure. probably already has that. Right. But, right. Right. SpokaneDentist.com, perfect because it's even though it's longer, it's still got it's got the the location and what you do and you know combined together and that's really sure. powerful. So you just have to think <laughs> a little. Bit. Let, me, stuff. let me throw another name out at you, uh, Bob Parsons. Bob Parsons, successful entrepreneur, um, a genius in his own right, really. Mm. Um, you want to let everybody know who that is? Oh, Bob Parsons is the was the original uh, founder um, and owner of GoDaddy, and uh, from '97 until just very, very recently, December um, of 2011, uh, we had a, an ownership change, and and so we have a new CEO now, uh, Warren Edelman, and uh, you know he's he's come in two totally different characters too. By the way, mm. I mean Bob is uh, uh, you know like the marketing genius. 
genius behind uh, the Super Bowl ads and things like that. And uh, really, really sharp guy, great to work with. And uh, and Warren is is uh, is more methodical and and uh, you know heavy thinker, logical, and and uh, in, in a lot of ways. It's a lot like me. If you really think about it. <laughs> yeah. No comment. No comment. <laughs> Just a couple more for you. Go ahead. Yeah, a couple more. Sure. SEO. SEO. Explain to to folks what that means and. Uh, Sure. Okay. <laughs> SEO. That stands for search engine optimization, and it's about figuring out how to drive traffic uh, from the search engines to your website. And what you do is structure your page in a way that makes it easy for the search engines to understand the content of your website. And so you can do that by things like making sure that your title, uh, the title of your page, is clear and contains the keywords that that you want, and that you uh, structure the 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 HTML behind your page to be, um, um, you know, a light framework that they can easily decipher the difference between mm -hmm. um, between the content, the words, the, the unique thing that you're saying and talking about um, on the page and and the structure of the page. Right. How about uh, email marketing? Email marketing. Yeah. Um, I think. Yeah, spam if you don't do it right, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, but it's a, certainly an important aspect. Um, done right, it can be an incredibly um, important mm -hmm. facet of, of your business. I talked about mm -hmm. Mom's Originals earlier, and uh, they use um, they use a, a, an email marketing pr program as well, and um, they collect their names through legitimate means. And never buy a list. You don't want to buy. I don't care. I mean, maybe you, you need to, but if you buy a list, I, no matter how legit they say that list is. It's it's probably not. Uh, it's hmm. probably uh, the best way is to collect it out of in your own means. Like a great way would be to put a flyer. If you're a brick and mortar and you're you're selling widgets, you you put up a flyer in your store that says we're giving away a free widget. Uh, register online. Um, have your domain name with a you know slash giveaway or or you could use a short code to make mm -hmm. it easier. You could put a QR code, which is like a little barcode mm -hmm. thing that people can scan with their phones. You can put that on there to make it real easy for somebody to walk by, hit the button, and then you know, type in their email address and they. Just, they just gave you their email address, and, and with that, you know, the little checkbox, it's okay to promote to me. And then right. you're, you, you've now established a, uh, um, you know, a, a new customer, potential new customer that mm -hmm. you can send email marketing to. Great. Really interesting stuff. One more to throw at you. How about cloud computing? Cloud computing, wave of the future. It's like this new, you know, new thing that that's coming out. I was telling you the difference between, um, you know, your traditional computing and cloud computing is the, the ability to spin up servers um, as you need it. But it's really going to address more of the developer market than it is the, um, you know, the, the typical end user. So the developer is going to create a new service that they're going to sell to the consumers, you know, on top of cloud computing, and mm -hmm. it's kind of the the more advanced uh, topic. Like really, I mean. For somebody that just wants a web presence, I wouldn't recommend going to cloud computing. You right. just, mm -hmm. you know, get a, a traditional hosting, web hosting, or if you don't want to do any, uh, um, uh, you, you know, any of that, you don't understand any of that, but you know you need a web presence, you can call uh, GoDaddy and ask for the Dream Design Team, and hmm. the Dream Design Team can make your website for you, and it's it's very affordable. Um, and will Danica and, answer the phone? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I had to go there. She won't. Yeah. Of course she did. Yeah. I'm not surprised. Yeah. 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 <laughs> On her cell while she's driving. Yeah. Right. right. No. Or wrecking, whatever right. it is. I did um, want to mention though that that I, before I forget, because um, you know folks back uh, at GoDaddy will kill me if I don't say this, but mm -hmm. uh, there's uh, along the lines of uh, the Dream Design team as well as all of our products and services, we do have a uh, a promo code that we wanted to share with you. It's uh, the word innovation. So the word innovation mm -hmm. is a promo code worth 25% off an order at GoDaddy, um, including the Dream Design team. Wow. Excellent. Yeah, thank Interesting you. stuff. Thank you. Not every day Appreciate you get to talk to a chief scientist. Yeah, so. So that was exciting, huh? Dave Koopman wow. flying up from Phoenix to I spend know. a little bit of time with us. A chief scientist in our presence. Right. I loved it. Yeah. Loved it. Really interesting stuff about the dot com, dot net, dot mm -hmm. co. I, I always wondered about that. What what do you register? Yeah, and uh, of course we both like to code in HTML, so it was really oh, important absolutely. to learn more about that. I do that in my spare time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard that about you. <laughs> so we want to thank everyone for being here today, especially our guests. And if you want to learn more about how to network and build relationships locally, uh, I would invite you to join. Launch
Launchpad, launchpadinw.com is a local networking site where you can connect with folks that you have something in common with. Maybe you share an industry uh, connection or you just want to meet people because we do a lot of this offline stuff, which as Monique always reminds me, it's all about relationship. That's right. So you can also follow us uh, at Launchpad at Launchpad INW and you can also join our Facebook page and like us on Facebook, which always sounds kind of weird, like please like me on Facebook, right? Right, I know. I need You're all the help I can get. Well, yes, yeah. yes. And we're at Launchpad INW on Facebook as well. All right, thank you for joining us on Launchpad Live. As always, it is our goal to help you to connect with the best and the brightest in the business community and to inspire you to achieve your personal definition of business success. It is all about the relationships. Thanks for joining us.